In the previous video, I set up the MIG welder for welding aluminium, but uh, I forgot to mention that uh, you must set up the roller to slip when operating uh, when using aluminium wire. This is to prevent the wire from them um, from buckling up in the line or somewhere, or prior to the um, to the uh, liner down here. So if you set the if you set the aluminium wire so that it will slip under pressure. So that the roller will slip under pressure. This cannot happen. It's only when the roller is set too tight that it will bunch up after or somewhere where it can find it or up at the at the, uh, at the tip. So um, and don't set the roller slip so light that any slight bend of the lead will actually stop the wire. Set the roller slip as best you can to almost the maximum before it will buckle up before the liner. And the best way to find this out is to or move this around a little bit as you're setting the roller slip. Or when you're welding, if you hear the roller skidding, um, you know to tighten it a bit more. Now when you know where, the, where, you, uh, where it's working perfect for you, you're going to have to try and memorize that some way, either by taking a measurement of it, or by judging it off somewhere else where, the, where it's meant to be, so that you don't have to do this every time you, you want to weld that. Like I know now from, from past experience, that the, the bottom of the uh, of the uh, tightening down knob lines up with the top of that, and that's uh, that covers all the pressure that I need on the roller, and it will still slip under pressure. And um, use something non-conductive, or make sure that the air is not uh, anywhere near you. When you're testing for roller slip, don't keep testing the one spot. Move the dry bit so you're on a brand new piece of wire. You can adjust it up again. Check it again for all the Just put a bit of pressure on that there now. You can feel it, you can feel it pushing it away, and that's what you want. <laughs> 